Welcome everybody and thank you so much for being here. Our channel is based around creativity where we use different supplies, pens, pencils, paint, you name it, but you're going to see us do plenty of things. Stick around and let's get to know each other. One of my favorite things to do is go out of town and look for different books that I can't find in my local area. This book I actually saw on a Instagram, Facebook Live, and my goodness, I wish I could remember who I was watching, but they were from Japan and they were using this book. The coloring was just gorgeous, guys. This book is so cool. It goes um, from the beginning and kind of shows you some of the illustrations and what they could look like. And then this other page tells you about technique and how to use certain products on the paper that is within the book and what you can expect the outcome to be. I love to use colored pencils when it comes to doing florals. I'm so new at this, guys. I am just trying to get down techniques. So let me know if you've colored in this book before and if you like it. I am in love with this book but let's see what else we can find in here it has full page um, ideas of coloring and maybe what the original artist what um, happened to do I love cherry blossoms they're just such a beautiful thing but I do have allergies to them so it's better to color them than look at them in real life <laughs> anyway so this book is incredible and in the different colors what is available what you can do now, I'm one of those people that loves to look at pictures, but I am not about copying the same style as what they have demonstrated. But these are beautiful. I mean, that's, that's so beautiful. And those pink colors, I mean, just to be able to challenge yourself to get that much of a rich color and these bluish purple colors with that B, oh. Oh, look at this. This one just makes me happy. Oh, that yellow. It's so beautiful. I truly, truly love that they've done this. And they didn't short us for coloring pages, I'll tell you that much. I felt like, oh, I didn't know I was buying a magazine. But it is nice because these are very, um, like, more um, realism. So they take a little bit longer to get those layers and... Uh, this is the receipt for the book. It looks like I paid, oh, I can't see that. Sorry, guys, if you want to zoom in. I think I paid $17 or $19 for it. Um, here's some information. Of course, I don't understand Japanese, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, just even me, comment below. Tell me what colors you would use. I am about to start doing this book. I haven't yet, but I thought I would just do a little bit of a flip through for you guys so you can see what exactly this is. And um, yeah, I, I think that coloring florals for me is extremely intimidating. I do get really overwhelmed because flowers are specific. They're grown a certain way. Of course, every one of them are different, but there is something that belongs there that has a unique look to it. Oh, this is that one on that one that I turned sideways. So pretty. Oh, and the colors. I just I cannot wait. I hope that I can execute it the way it's done here. Of course, it's always, always, always intimidating. What's intimidating to you? Are you intimidated by specific types of drawings or in coloring books? Because I know I am. But hey, that's probably part of being really new to all of this. I think I'm uh, two months into this going on my third month and continuing to try really hard I've got quite a few things over in Instagram now so feel free to sh you know stop over there take a look at what it is that I've been doing feel free to add in some tips and tricks on how I can improve because I'm on a mission my friends I'm gonna learn and I am dedicated to everything uh, looks like a little bit of information here about the book. Of course, it's in Japanese again, so I cannot really tell you what it is. But the book is beautiful. It was what I found to be 
Uh, most interesting in the Seattle bookstore. I actually went to the Japanese bookstore there looking for anything that was different that I can't find online or that I can't find in my own bookstores. And I'm most positive you could probably find this online somewhere, but I found it in person and it's like a treasure. Will always remind me of my trip. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to subscribe and talk to you soon.